Hi, this is Demon, and you are watching Salesforce Introduction to Custom Application Development. So we have now Person Account enabled. And we can see we can capture the information for any individual any customer of bank so we don't require this contact tab now so we are going to remove this contact tab from the tab panel for this you need to go to your profile which will be used currently we are using system administrator so I go to this profile click on edit and set this contact tab as tab hidden so there will be no access of this tab so if I click save it will be removed from this tab panel now we have home page and this account tab now in we want to rename this account tab but if we go to this account metadata information here we don't any we don't see any option to rename this account tab so for this you need to go to tab names and labels and here rename tab and labels you can rename your tab labels for different language so currently we are using English language so it will be renamed for English language so here we provide the information as customer information and click next and save now we can see the tab has been renamed as customer information now if we go to this tab click on new select record type as person account we can see some labels also have renamed as customer information number customer information site which is not relevant for this page so we need to rename the tab labels also now if we go to the account field details we can see these are the different options for fields but if we click on the edit we do we see that field level is not editable so that also has to be done from this tab names and levels so if we click on this edit click next we can see that these are the different levels singular and plural so we need to delete or we need to modify accordingly so we just removing this information and also we can modify or application number or here IC number so it will be displayed in this way customer or we can keep it as account owner and we keep it as site we modify accordingly now we need to remove this and we save it now if you go to this tab click on new we can see that everything has been modified accordingly and if we select person account click continue we can see that all the fields having properly renamed as expected now we need to add some more fields here so we go to this view fields and create some custom fields custom fields like date field to create account creation date and identification type like passport voter ID ration card other card driving license now we need to add those newly created fields into the page layout so for this or although it has been added into the page layout we need to place this into the proper section so for this we need to go to the person account page layout click on edit now for this bank application we will create one specific page layout is customer information layout okay and we save it and here in this place we place this one so modifying this page layout is very simple and this is the account creation date so we keep it here now we need to remove some fields also from the page layout 
this this and this which are related to service cloud and also this 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 if any contact information and we save it now we need to assign this page layout for specific record types now we are going to create on record type name as or account customer and set as active enable for this profiles and next if you want you can also restrict now we assign this layout to this record type and save it so record type has been created now if you go to this record type click on page layout assignment you can see these are the assignment for the record type of account for different profile for system admin bank customer holding this page layout and person account holding this page layout so this is for person account record type assignment for business account for business account you will see the record type assignment from here now if we go to this tab and click on bank customer record type click continue we, we see a page with that page layout and all the fields as named so we are creating on customer as ic number is k 12345008 identification number is uh, type is passport rating and we populate all the information fact and website is com and billing city is 5 billing city is new york same as shipping street also and customer priority is high and account creation date is today and active is equal to yes and if you want to place any description regarding this customer like customer transaction also customer is so we have one customer record created with all these details now regarding these related list we will remove this layout this related list we don't require that one for application how to remove it you just click must save it so we have now one customer created. now now we want to create one custom object name as customer account set plural where customer accounts and this is account name we change it to account number and type is auto number populated with 0 0 0 0 0 0 here year and here dd and here month and again 0 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 starting number is 1 now it is status is deployed and launch one custom tab wizard select one tab and set as default hidden and enable only for system admin and include into this application only so we have this customer accounts now now in this object we will create multiple accounts for this for a single customer and the an account will have different type enter value as saving current loan dmat we need to provide the field api name the account type click next provide the visibility added into the account and we create another field as master detail relationship so we are choosing master detail relationship because for a specific customer if customer exists no we choose lookup relationship because for a specific customer if customer exists account also exists but if customer does not exist account has to be exist to store the information regarding any customer previously so customer will set as and field name as account customer will set as inactive it cannot be deleted once created and we set the filter as count is person account is equal to true and we set window text as bank customer and next so this filter will fetch the lookup related uh, lookup records for only those customer record which are having person account not business account so we go to the account and click new and if we click on this we see only those 
record switch our person account we don't find any business account and here we need to have another field as balance and click next now for balance we need to place the decimal places and click next and we have to reduce it to six click next and we add into this layout and save now if we go to this click on account type saving current loan demand and which account it is related to and what is the current balance it is holding so if we go to we need to modify this layout a bit so which account it is related to james jordan account type is saving and current balance is holding as zero now we can set this field value as default as zero if we save it we create another account type current now if you go to this account we see two accounts have been created and its type as one is current one is savings okay so we have all the details now now if we go to the specific account we see this is account type is saving and current balance is zero all right so we have one customer and multiple accounts now we will perform transaction of type deposit withdraw transfer from one customer account to another customer account in our next video so in this video you have learned how to rename tab names and labels how to create and modify page layouts how to create fields how to create relationship between one object to another so visit our next video where we have we will create transaction record types of deposit withdraw and transfer from one account to another and we'll also teach you how to write trigger to update any field value or to modify any field so once the transaction is created it will update the value transaction amount to specific customer account holding balance by adding or deduct so that will be done by trigger so next video will have that